What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, you know the news never ends. It's actually great that football season is actually here. Um, there's so much news to talk about. You know, last month, I'm just kidding, well, the month before, July, it was just like... <laughs> Can a brother get a story? <laughs> Come on, there's got to be some football news someplace. I mean, it was it was sad, you know. It, it was it was sad, you know. The, the players were were done with OTAs. We were just waiting for training camp to open up. But boy, August was it, it was a great month. It was a great month, and now it's September. The very first time, do you remember? Yeah, it, it's September. I, I can't believe it. But um, there's so much news. Now, Jason Peters, word is that it'll be a tomorrow morning type thing. Expect maybe a signing tomorrow morning, possibly. But that's why I'm here. I've actually already gone out. I did my fireside chat and stuff, and I'm, I'm literally rolling on that because, you know, I've got a lot of Cowboy fans that are doom and gloom. They're Mr. Negativity. They're just like, we suck and everything else. But I actually have good news for you guys because... Just because you sign a bunch of people doesn't mean you're going to win. The Giants have been signing people for years. For years. It ain't done nothing. The Jacksonville Jaguars, they've been signing people for years. They ain't done nothing. But be that as it may, uh, this past week, Philly 500 has been trying to, you know, goat me into trading for Andre Dillard. Okay? Andre Dillard. Yeah. Um their first round draft pick offensive tackle who's not starting and kind of leaves the Eagles wanting, wanting somebody else other than that. And see, this is the thing that I, I find that's amazing because, you know, Philly 500 is literally going through and singing the praises of Howie Vision, you know, that he's got the mojo and all that. But see, he fails to realize that all of these moves, like, you know, he was so happy about getting rid of J.J. Ortega, Whiteside and stuff. That was a number two draft pick that you had. He's so happy about trading. Rhaegar, you know, we got a seven, we, we stole some, we got a seventh and, and, and a fourth for him. You used the first on him. So it's not quite as good as you think. Now, they were hoping to, uh, to, check, to, to trade Andre Dillard, and they ended up keeping him on the roster because it's a first-round pick. They're sitting there thinking, okay, because here's the philosophy here. Instead of just releasing them, taking the cap hit and stuff, and this is Colin, I mean, not Colin Kaepernick, um, Jimmy G. The reason why they reworked his contract and brought him back is because at some point somebody's going to lose a quarterback. And they're going to be able to say, hey, I got a quarterback for you, team-friendly deal. Give me a you know, number two or a number one pick or something like that to get compensation. And that's what the Eagles thought they were going to do with Andre Dillard. That, okay, we'll hold on to him. Somebody will lose a tackle, and, and we'll get some compensation for him instead of just releasing him. But there's a little fly in the ointment here on that one. This was three hours ago, um, was being reported. Eagles tackle Andre Dillard suffered a non-displacement fracture in his forearm in practice today. Sources say further testing is needed to determine the best course of action and timeline for return, but the expectation is Dillard will be available for the majority of the season. Now, isn't the trade deadline like October? So that's a problem as far as trading him for the season. Now, let, let me be clear here. Let me be clear here. I am not celebrating an injury to a player. Not celebrating. I'm just saying that these are things that happen. That, you know, the Eagles were hoping that they could trade him. And Lord knows, Philly 500. I, 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 want, an, I want at least a number one for him. Get out of here. I told you. Potted meat sandwich on a stale cracker as high as I will go. And right now, you just get the stale cracker. So that's the thing about football. You see a lot of guys the last couple of days that have been injured in practice, not the games now, in practice. And so, you know, you've got to be prepared to be able to withstand these injuries and stuff. For the Eagles, he's not a starter. They're okay right now. Problem is, if one of the starters goes down, he's not there for a little bit of time. So we'll see what happens. 
on that situation. And again, you know, you feel bad about it, but it's football. It is the nature of the beast. All right, so let me double check here. Let me double check the Twitter. Um, yeah, nothing new on Jason Peters. Um, my bet is on Jason Peters. Brian Broda said, don't really know what to expect watching Jason Peters play last night. San Francisco game versus New York Giants. Pass blocking was better than run, but not to the point where he was a liability. His massive strength give defense or defenders problems. His overall health checks out. He could be a role player for the club. Um, my bet is this, that Jason Peters is in town. And Jerry Jones is whining and dining him. <laughs> hey, Jason, you know, you ain't got them nasty-ass cheesesteaks up there. Come on, let's go get that 75-ounce ribeye steak here. I know you can eat I know you can eat that thing. It'll be free if you eat the whole thing. And then that way I ain't got to pay for dinner, son. That's right. Let's go get that 75-ounce prime rib. Oh, man. Yeah, buddy. I know you like oh, you you a Texas boy? Oh, come on home to Dallas, man. You know, you know, and, and you know you're gonna get that team friendly there. Let me pour you some more of that 7 Eleven wine there. Yeah, Jason Peters. That's what's happening right now. Bet you right now. Jason Peters is out with Jerry Jones or Jerry Jones's house pigging down. And come tomorrow, he'll be a Dallas Cowboy. Cause you know. When Jerry Jones, the fact that they said resolution in the morning means he's still in town. And when you're still in town with the Dallas Cowboys, dude, dude, that means the deal getting done. You can say the Cowboys suck in the playoffs, but when Jerry Jones gets a hold of you and he wants you signing, son, you sign him. You are definitely signing with the Dallas Cowboys. All right, good people. That's it. Unless I, I get in bed and I find out that Jason Peters is signed tonight, you won't see me until tomorrow morning, God willing, because I'm tired. I'm real tired, boss. And uh, it's too damn hot. Oh, I'm sorry. I've got to turn you off. Bye.